22, refer to figure 11.10, and that's this picture right here. Letter A, how did the concentration of dissolved CO2 in the beverage change when the bottle was opened? Okay, so we're looking like, it looks like some type of cola here, uh, a carbonated beverage in which these molecules down here, and maybe I'll put this in a different color to show you, that these molecules down here, right, there is one black molecule in the center of these, surrounded by two red um, molecules. Now, generally speaking, uh, for your colors, right, the black, if you're using a model kit, especially if you're uh, going on into organic chemistry, there are certain specific uh, colors that go with certain atoms. And black is used for carbon, so carbon in the middle, and red is generally used for oxygen. And they did tell us that this was CO2, so the coloring checks out. Um, so this is CO2. We got tons of CO2, and this diagram is showing that the CO2 is in the cola, right, in the liquid cola, but something happened in which the cola is rising to the top, seems like it's less dense by itself than the actual cola, and it's forming these bubbles, right? This is the carbonation, right? When you open up a nice can of crisp uh, cola. By the way, are you a Coke fan or a Pepsi fan? Me? I'm team Coke. Ugh, love it. But anyway, um, when you open up the, the, the new can, right, all of the CO2 that was in the liquid has now risen to the top, and that's what gives the foaminess of a can of cola. So this is your carbonation. So now for letter A, how did the concentration of dissolved CO2 change? Well, if they're stating that something is being dissolved, it is in the liquid in this case. So it's in the cola. But now once you open that bottle, what happened to the cola? Yeah, all of, well, not all of it, but majority of it is rising to the top. So... When the bottle was opened, the CO2, the gas, was, or actually, I guess we'll say, when the bottle was opened, the CO2 rose to the top to form the carbonation, which means that, you know, matter cannot be created nor destroyed. So that means that the CO2 that was in the liquid is now coming out of the liquid and now just sitting on top. This is all gas. Only the CO2 that is in the cola is the stuff that's being dissolved. But as you open the bottle, the concentration, concentration of the dissolved CO2, what do you think happened? Did it increase or did it decrease? If it rose to the top and it was not anymore in the cola. Yeah, it decreased. Um, it decreased because it's not in the liquid anymore, it's coming to the top. So that wouldn't be dissolved because it's not in the liquid anymore. So that's the answer to letter A. Letter B said, well, what caused this change? I mean, we kind of just answered that question, right? How does the liquid... The, the CO2, come out of the liquid on top? Well, you had to disrupt the pressure. And in order to do that, you will open the bottle. So the bottle was opened. And if you keep it open, right, for some time, there's not going to be any more carbonation because the pressure between the bottle and the atmosphere is going to equilibrate. And that's when your cola goes flat, if you keep it open for too long. So that's the answer for B. What caused this change? You just open the bottle. And then the last letter here, it says, is this beverage unsaturated, saturated, or supersaturated with CO2? Well, this comes from your definitions of saturated, unsaturated, or supersaturated, right? 
unsaturated, and saturated means that you will not see any precipitate. So unsaturated means that you could even add more CO2 into your cola, in this case, and you will not see a carbonation occurring. Saturated is the max amount of CO2 that you can put in to this cola, which will not separate into, you know, the gas level on the top and the liquid on the bottom. But now super saturated, this is where you will see a precipitate. And the precipitate is just the difference in the two substances. And in this case, you have a liquid on the bottom and now you're forming a gas on the top. When you open the bottle, those CO2s rush to the top and you're forming that precipitate, that gas of just the carbon dioxide, the carbonation. So this, bever this beverage had to definitely be super saturated with CO2. However, after, you know, after some time, when you leave a, a bottle of cola in, in, the, in the fridge, and then you open it, and you don't see any fizz anymore, it's flat. Because, chances are, it's either unsaturated or saturated. It's either at its max, or there's just no more CO2 left in the cola. All of it has escaped, um, so that would be the difference with unsaturation. But every time that you open it up and you see fizzes, that's still super saturated with CO2, and that's what gives the carbonation. And that's the answer to this question. So we answered all three of these, A, B, and C, check, 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 and we are done. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys, and I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. I'll be here every step of the way for you guys. I want you to do well. Uh, that's why there's tons of videos here just for you guys to get through your classes. Uh, check the channel out. Um, we love helping you guys out, and we'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.